welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the obvious sun this is the psychic the psychic love reading for the obvious sun moon horizon sign i am so tired there's just so much and there's a bird trooping outside all right, Ophiosis, I love you guys. All right, let's see what's happening. You Ophiosis, send moon horizon sign. What is happening, my darlings? In love in the month of November. This is November 2019. Um, I have done, which is good for you Ophiosis people to go and listen to it. It's the mystical, magical, um psychic energy for the year 2019 okay ophiosis what is going on something is in the reverse children whatever is going on children is in the reverse whatever the issue is whatever the situation is children is in the reverse so what we're going to do because this came out and just flipped out and flipped on the ground in the reverse what is happening what they're showing me is that a lot of you are not dating because of kids a lot of issues going on because you have divorce a lot of custody battle is going on so you love your kids and you love your your ex-partner it's just whoever i'm seeing a lot of people leaving their relationship a lot of people leaving their relationship when it comes on to kids and walking away okay so anytime a message fly out and flipped out in the reverse i gotta find out what the universe is saying okay so there is a message for some of you and i said ophiosis and then it flips out so for the ophiosis what exactly is happening i'm seeing transition okay so some of you ooh, because this is a love reading and I'm seeing <clears throat> sorry oh my god okay all right so I'm seeing regrets and transition with the king of um pentacles okay it can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I'm seeing you ladies are having an issue with a Virgo. I'm seeing you ladies having an issue with a Virgo. I'm seeing transition with a scorpion. All right. So if you're married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, a scorpion and ending is coming in whatever the situation is you ladies it's affecting you guys and the kids I'm seeing that some of you took your a partner that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn to court you're gonna get, receive the money okay so that is a message you're definitely going to be receiving the, the money I am seeing that this person this king the Star Wars Virgo or a Capricorn some of you could be dealing with a Virgo I am seeing a transition if the kid is a scorpion I'm seeing some situation because I'm seeing a kin is passing away so um, some of you a child could pass away and you're asking the father to help you to do the burial whatever is transpiring okay I hope not to God I hope not so let's see if that is going to be coming back up okay because um, but I'm seeing some of you are going to be um, paid some um, uh, child custody um, payment back payment is going to be coming in okay so what is here for the five that some of you are dealing with a scorpion man I am seeing some deceptiveness if you're dealing with a Scorpio I'm seeing some deceptiveness okay I'm seeing the end to an karmatic issue whether a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is mostly a Virgo I'm seeing you're going to be receiving message from a 
a, a, a scorpion and same lies and deceptiveness that has transpired so you ladies there is some cheating someone is cheating on you you ladies i am seeing this person a situation with a house i'm seeing some karmatic issue and a situation with a house okay so you a message is going to be coming in from you ladies from a scorpion man and the message is about a situation with a house where the father of the father is going to give the child the house or whatever because there is some so ask for personalized reading this is a general reading i've just got a message for someone out there all right so let's get in the reading if you want to have a personalized love reading please connect okay so that was something for a ch children and family that came out for some of you okay so let's go in and see what else is coming out Ooh. destiny destiny comes out in the reverse whatever is happening destiny something was destined to happen is it a divorce is it the end of a relationship is it someone to meet but something destiny is something about that it was meant to be oh god children it was destiny to have this situation with this child and this issue and situation okay allah is affecting your children um um of all right let's go into reading angels and see what's coming up so we're dealing with the burnet whoever dark hair brown hair women that is going to be affected by a love I'm seeing the red ears coming in also. I'm seeing the mature man coming in, okay? I am seeing the wallflowers keep on coming up. So a lot of you women who are, and I'm seeing spiritual growth. There is a spiritual growth that is happening. A spiritual growth is happening. I see children and mature men. You have to pay for your kids, okay? I'm seeing money and this was what i said to you that if you hold child custody battle i'm seeing control some negative forces is coming in uh, but i'm seeing some fun times with your kids okay negative forces are coming in you gotta be aware of who and what i'm seeing some of you having long distance relationship thinking about someone coming communicating with someone um um far off but the the central of your love reading in um this uh, month of november it's about spiritual growth so some of you could be growing spiritually meeting someone and having the spiritual growth with this person money plays a significant role and i'm seeing that some of you men are going to be very mature and thinking you know yes i need to pay child custody battle whatever is going on okay so what's happening spiritual growth i'm seeing uh jupiter and the moon in reverse jupiter and the moon in reverse so it's not all about the sex it's about growing spiritually with another person it's not ab about the sex it's about growing spiritually in uh, with another person so if the sex isn't there it's just about growing spiritually with another person Sagittarius uh, Saturn, Venus, and Mars. I'm seeing um, some of you um, um, women, 45 years, between 25 and 45, you're giving up on love. Okay. Communication. I am seeing Pluto and Mars of grounded communication. I'm seeing you trying to find out about this person. I'm seeing some of you have met someone and you're communicating with the person because you're taking, you're drawing information about this person without the person even knowing that. Okay. Saturn and Venus. Um, Saturn and Venus is coming up for the men 45 years and older. Whatever is happening with Saturn and Venus this is when you're going to say you know something yes i have kids i need to pay the kids custody battle or i am married and i need to stop having this outside influence and you know it is you really bringing back discipline in your relationship and discipline in relationship with people around you okay yes this is my 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 best friend daughter i can't be you know masturbating or whatever over it so that sort of a thing is coming in sun and venus sun and venus on this 
sun and venus i'm seeing the wallflower people are going to be start looking at themselves and they are going to be bringing back love in their lives so yuffie congratulations pluto and mercury pluto and mercury fantasism over kids so some of you could be wanting to have kids some of you were hoping to have kids and go check out the magical um Halloween reading because this could happen for you guys some of you really wanted to have kids some of you are open some of you are open that the balance between your you know your child father or mother or your partner will be yield and it's going to be Jupiter in Mercury enthusiastic about money and um, some of you are going to be receiving either from some unexpected payout that you were supposed to get so it's like cost of the battle it, it's like um you divorce and some other payments is coming to you alimentation that sort of a thing your husband was a pain on alimentation he begins to pay alimentation because it's as if his spirit guides hit him and kick him and said you gotta pay the money okay you're divorced and um your husband didn't want to give you a house and all of a sudden he gave you the house so that sort of an energy is coming up which is just so beautiful so the mature men are going to be getting this spiritual awakening and that is good jupiter in 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 venus um someone if you feel as if your relationship is not going good it's because there's outside influence i caught the little bugger I got a little bugger here. Someone outside is influencing your relationship. Some negative forces, some negative energy is influencing your relationship. Lies and deception, okay? So this could be a jealous person that is influencing your relationship from outside. There's a lot of people who does that. It's a very sick, I can't understand. Mars and Mars and the moon Mars and the moon there's some fun times um, that some of you are going to be ha having and that is good and you know ladies and gentlemen sometimes you're in relationship and I, I see this and I get this a lot of time with people that I do love reading with and they said my relationship was so good and then all of a sudden People, it is better not to tell your girlfriends and your friends about your relationship. Because if you constantly talking about your relationship, that is good with people. There are people who are just miserable. No one wants to be with them. And they want you to be miserable to also. They will keep and block your relationship. A lot of time and a lot of readings, I'm seeing this with love. That your own best friend or family. But it's always the best friend that always makes you women up some of you women men also and men are always messed up by the ex or someone who cared about them and they didn't want that person so ask for love reading you will be amazed to know exactly what is going on so let's check out the burnets let's check out the burnets the burnets the burnets the burnets okay Alrighty, okay, so the black hair people, what is happening for you guys? And I really need to stop wearing my glasses. Black hair people, I am seeing you happy in love. I'm seeing you're not looking anymore. I see that some of you who were um are happy in love with a Pisces and uh, some of you are happy in love with a Gemini so some of you are happy in love with a Pisces some of you are happy in love with a Gemini now this is really good because I'm seeing that some of you want to give up on life give up on the relationship and then all of a sudden a shift of change comes in and this is good some of you um are glad that a relationship is over and whatever that has transpired you're like happy being on your own at this moment so love yourself enjoy it okay communication who are communicating okay all right okay I am changing up this thing because obviously what is happening I swear 
Okay, I swear, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's check this out. All right, someone out there need to have a message. Okay, so spiritual growth, it was in the reverse. I need to say something. Someone out there, new a new love is being blocked by outside forces. Someone is using negative forces to block your relationship and to block a communication between you and a new love. So let's say what are they saying is that um, whoever this new love is would have been very good for you. But outside influence, know that this is the person for you you should have been together but there is a blockage that is happening and it has to do with so, um this new love wants to come in but there is some blockage negative forces is entering your life you need to call upon god the father soul create and the universal angel you know some people are sick i i don't know anymore some of you who are in um some of you are having spiritual growth in your marriage I'm seeing communication, I'm seeing healing, and I'm seeing wonderful positive energies that is coming up with spiritual growth is coming up. Some of you were in a marriage and this marriage has been rocky and it's because of the negative forces, outside influence that has been in your marriage. I'm, I've seen that communication is the key. You have communicated and this is going to be working out. Okay, we're going back to the negative forces and people who are. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, and you know as i always said i don't know why i don't know why we were told this so um yeah and this is why i help people and i give these love readings free ladies and gentlemen there are some serious deceptive people in this world okay and also people who you think you know are not like that People read of other people and know that if they're with another person, it's much better. And the people who you're with will block your life because they, they, it, it, some of them do it for materialistic stability, wealth, and that sort of a thing. But whatever is happening, they know that sometimes some of them know your twin flame and soulmate and know that that is the person for you but they will mess up your life these are people as i said girlfriends are always the one that is doing it family can block people also and um men are always blocked by ex-lovers okay or blocked by a sister who think that, yeah, um, you know, my brother is too good for this person or this sort of a thing. And, you know, people, whoever is doing it is sick. All right. There is no question about it. You have no right to block someone else's life because people come into this lifetime and choose their partners and whoever they want to be with. And it's, 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 it's a little bit sick. Okay. So be aware. So what I'm seeing is that... Uh, even interference in your marriage some of you are in spiritual relationship there might be not any love but there is so much interference that is in your life okay so let's see what is happening because i'm really getting pissed all right so i'm seeing some of you are communicating um people 45 years and older i'm seeing communication is happening here okay um i'm seeing some of you seeing the truth uh you could have been in a relationship with a virgo and you're seeing the truth about this person i'm seeing some of you really communicating with a virgo really communicating whatever is happening whatever is transpired i'm seeing this communication is happening okay so there is a lot of communication that is happening around and it's with some of you are communicating and working on your relationship some of you are, who had given up your relationship is communicating and working on your relationship okay some of you mature men some of you mature men is is it wants to go back to an aries okay so some of you mature men you know this could have been your ex-wife or whoever this person is but i'm seeing 
It could be that, yeah, it's an Aries. This could be an Aries woman that wants to come back to you or you want to go back to this person. Whoever this person is, I'm seeing that you're either going to let this person know or this person is going to let you know. But I'm seeing it could be also an Aries that you uh, is stalking you. An Aries is definitely stalking you. So you got to be aware an Aries woman is stalking you men 45 years and older. Be aware of this. We're looking at children, children, children. We are looking at children. Okay, so some of you, um, some of you, um, if your parents or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I'm seeing you receiving a message from them. So if your parents is so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I'm seeing you receiving a message from them. So, um, and this message is, is good because they want to remarry. Uh, some of, some could be want to divorce, but I'm seeing remarriage. I'm seeing, um, a re it's like they want to remarry or some wants to divorce. It depends on who you are because, um, <coughs> sorry. Oh my God. It's kind of weird, but anyway, it's, um, it's autumn. So I'm seeing that there is issue between you and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with a child, whatever is going on here. I am seeing this happen. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of messages. It's going to be coming in from a Leo and um, it has to do with money. Okay. It has to do with money and it's coming in from a Leo. Okay, we got even further. Okay, this um here happen by um geluk some of you are um oh some of you are having some happy happy moments with a Capricorn and whatever this happy moment is and whatever is transpiring and this happy moment is. We have the energy of uh, um, the Eight of Swords, seeing the truth of a situation. So whatever is happening and transpiring in the world of you, um, um, issues and situations, uh, oh, you are having some fun time. You are um, communicating with a Capricorn. You are happy. Um is the eight of swords is as if now you're seeing that you know you don't have to be in love but you're seeing the truth of the situation so there is just a, so much different issues and situation and this is so wonderful so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring your understanding where you are what is happening what is going on and you are happy with yourself and this is the most important thing so ladies and gentlemen the you are ending um you are ending um your 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 month on a positive note in love this is wonderful this is beautiful whatever is happening and transpiring you're definitely ending this um this um a month in a wonderful positive energy i want to say to you ladies and gentlemen go check out the extended um reading for the monthly read and see what is coming up in love for you guys um it is really 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 exciting so whatever the situation is we are just getting back and we are looking at a situation that is transpiring whatever is happening this is going to be positive good positive alignment of energies is coming up and in love it's going to be good you people who are married I'm seeing a healing is coming in whatever the healing is the issue is and the situation is 
we are seeing the ealing coming up and there we are so ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration and i want to say to you guys enjoy um it's uh, going to be a, a good month in love and this is going to be good so whatever is transpiring and happening this is going to be wonderful so ladies and gentlemen i want to say to you please like and share these videos show your appreciating by thumbs up um sharing and i will talk to you next month out